Hello everybody and welcome back to War Thunder and we have a preview slash review of the uh, the new Sky Raider, the rank 75 or level 75 battle pass reward. The top tier reward from the current battle pass which is quite exciting because in the past it's normally been uh, a tank and the plane was normally the free to play one at level 50 but now the plane is the level 75 one and it is a part of the paid battle pass, but this one is quite a treat indeed. The uh, Sky Raider, fantastic aircraft, and this one has just got even better. It uh, differs from the um, ones already in game. It's a slightly higher battery rating at 6.3 rather than 6.0. It's much faster, as we can see, and uh, has better handling overall. But the real highlight, as aside from the armor, which it does actually have, um, is obviously the secondary weapons. Look at all of these. Any of these are better than the current Sky Raider. This current Sky Raider was a pretty good close air support vehicle, but I always felt like it was lacking something. Whereas now you have something for every occasion, which is nice, you know. Um, the only loadout that I believe is the same, at least off the top of my head, is the 10 or 12 HVARs, which you're not going to be using because you can get 228 Mighty Mouse rockets. So why wouldn't you use them instead? Uh, you could also get a plethora of 250 pound bombs up to 30 which is kind of insane and uh, some incendiary bombs or as we like to call them napalm which is quite exciting you also get the blue one incendiary bombs which is a new one and um, yeah that's kind of like the classic sky raider sort of a uh, bomb that you see in all the movies and stuff but uh, we're going to be testing it out with this one here that's right eight mini guns uh, which is kind of insane when you think about it. It gives this thing insane firepower. Kind of a gimmick, kind of like the napalm, you know. Definitely cooler than practical, but these things are quite exciting. So without further ado, let's get this thing tested. So uh, go with the miniguns, here we are, and let's go with just air targets around, so whatever. Right, let's put that in realistic. Here we go. So, test flight, you do actually spawn on the carrier, because technically this is a naval plane. Get the catapult launch, and here we are, up in the air. And you can see all our miniguns mounted on the underwing hardpoints. Obviously, you have the 20mm uh, cannons, but that isn't the only highlight. I don't really know how to explain this, to be honest. Uh, these miniguns are only really good air-to-air. -air. They're not very effective on ground targets, but they are incredibly cool. Yeah, that's some serious firepower. However, as I said before, they're kind of just a gimmick. These things will not do all that much against ground targets, except for the very lightly armoured vehicles, and if that's the case, then you might as well just use conventional bombs, rockets, or your otherwise standard 20mm cannons. As you can see, we were easily able to destroy the Gaz AA, but not so easily able to destroy, slash weren't able to destroy, period, the T-55A. So, yeah, in that regard, the miniguns aren't very good. But they're cool, they're funny, they're hilarious, whatever. So who's really complaining? It's nice to have anyway. If not a bit excessive. Very nice. So, the Sky Raider. Do I recommend that you buy this thing? Um, yeah, sure. I mean, if you... I know, it's a bit of a meme at this point with how many close air support vehicles America gets, but they can't help what they are. They just have a lot of close air support. Deal with it. And this is definitely one of the better vehicles. At 6.3, this is arguably the best close air support vehicle in the game. It's an absolute menace. And to make matters even more menacing, if you want to take it to higher tier, then that is an alternative option because this thing actually gets countermeasures just in case you have to counter any of those pesky radar-guided missile SPAAs. But, will you be getting the Sky Raider? That's what I want to know, because I am going to do my level best to get it. I wasn't able to get the Object 248, sadly, but 
but I will try my best to get this because it is a very exciting vehicle for me personally. At first glance it is just another Sky Raider, but it, you know, this is more than a Sky Raider. This is like the ultimate Sky Raider. This is like the Vietnam War classic Sky Raider, so uh, take it as you will. But yeah, quick review overall. Nothing fancy. Just wanted to uh, get this one off my chest. Uh, there's been a lot of grinding going on lately, so I haven't really been able to publish too much content. And I was letting the uh, Sturm Tiger video, which was very successful by the way, die down because you know it's the Sturm Tiger video. It's a uh, a very hyped up vehicle, and it is a very exciting vehicle. So uh, you know, I wanted to people to appreciate that while it was there. The grind is going okay, by the way, and I will be doing a video on it when I eventually unlock it. Fingers crossed. And before I go, just a quick announcement. I just want to say thank you for 100 subscribers. Kind of a small milestone in the grand scheme of things, of YouTube especially. But, you know, it's still a milestone nonetheless, and I thank you very much. So, here's to more subscribers in the future. And if you like this video, then comment down below. Uh... Hang on, that's not right. Uh, if you like this video, like that button. Hit the like button. You know what I mean. It's, uh, you know, it's just trying to wind down from all the War Thunder grinding at the moment. Yeah, so comment down below what you think of the Sky Raider. Will you be grinding this thing? Do you like this plane in general? And uh, take care, and I'll catch you next time with some more War Thunder content.